Hi everyone. I've had several requests for a video about how to use the custom mug templates that I've shared. If you'd like to use my templates, you can find them in my Facebook groups. Links are in the description below this video. So here we are in Design Space. I'm going to use this template to show you the different ways that you can use it, either with infusible ink or sublimation, whichever is your preference. So the first thing that I want you to do is duplicate the image. Just in case you're not happy with the result or you make a mistake, you don't want to have to go all the way back to the beginning or recreate the file. So if you have a duplicate, just hide it in your layers panel. You can see that I've duplicated several because I'm going to go through several different steps with you today. So the first thing we're going to do is cut an image out of this template. So I'll unlock this one so you can see it. I'm going to use this image. Let's ungroup this. At the moment, you can see it's in two pieces. So let's just move the edges aside. And we're going to take this image. I find it a little large, so let's make it smaller. We're going to select all, align, center. Notice that this image is two colors, so you actually have three layers. You're not going to be able to slice it. If you want to slice it completely out so that you have the white of the mug or t-shirt or whatever you're pressing it on to show through, you're just going to weld this image. Now it's all one color and all one layer. So you can make it whatever size you want it. Select them all together, align, center, right click and slice. You're going to take away these cutouts. You don't need them anymore. We'll delete those. Bring your edges back and line them up. We'll go select all, align, center horizontally. Everything looks in place. And you also want to double check that your size is correct, that nothing has moved by accident. So. For the 15 ounce mug, you want 8.75 by 4.25. If you're using the 12 ounce mug, it's 8.75 by 3.79. So you just want to double check that everything is sized properly. At this point, you can right click and you can attach or you can weld completely up to you, whatever you prefer to do. I'm going to weld it. Now it's all one image. So let's hide that one. We'll set it aside. We're going to do a different way. So here's another blank. And again, I'll get this image. So let's say that we want to keep the two colors. So let's go ahead and put this in the center. We'll move our template to the back. Let's line it up exactly how we want it sized. Don't forget to ungroup this and take away your edges. That looks like a good size. Okay, so I'm going to move it aside again and ungroup it. We'll take the pink first and set it up align and center. I think that might be a little low because we want to add a blue layer also. So align again and center horizontally. That looks good. Right click and slice. So we're going to take our pink and put it to the side. Take this red cutout and delete it. Okay. Now we're going to take our second color. We need to move the template to the back again. We have our second color there. 
select all, align and center horizontally again. That looks perfect. Right click and slice. So let's take our blue layer and put it aside. We'll delete this red cutout. Okay, so now you have the option to do this mug in a few colors if you like. There we go. We'll put our edge back, select all, align, or center horizontally, and everything is lined up perfectly. I'm going to click on my edges and my red background, right click, and I'm going to attach them. You can also choose to weld them if you want to. And let's take a look at how that will cut. So we'll click make it. Don't forget to turn on your mirror image. And here we go. So once you've got the three colors cut out, you're going to need to take all these blue pieces and put them back in place on the red. Again, you'll do the same with the pink. You'll take all the pieces and put them back in place on the red so that you fill in these cutouts. It'll take a little patience because they're all tiny little ones, but depending what graphic you use, it might actually be very easy to put in the colors. So let's cancel that. I'll choose all this, group it, and we'll hide it. Okay, so let's get another background. So quite a few have asked me how to add photos for sublimation. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. One of the ways that you can add photos to your template is to use pattern fill. It's a little longer process because you need to edit the photo to align it properly. So I will do that in a separate video so you can see how it's done. So in this video, we're going to use our photos by adding them as images. So I have one here already uploaded. Let's say I want to use this one. So if you have several different photos, let's move this to the back. If you have several f different photos that you want to add to your mug template, um, you can add them all, make them smaller so they all fit and add them all to your template if you like. If you want to do se separate different photos, you can do something like that. It's easy to do, just adding upload and add them all as images. You can even frame them if you want to. Let's take this one, get a shape. We'll just move to the back and we'll make it smaller and line it up around the image. There we go. I'm going to make it white select them together and put them back on my template. So you can see how you can add a frame if you like. You can do something like that. Let's take these away. We don't need that. Don't need that one. We'll straighten this out and make it larger. Okay. Another way you can do this is to ungroup your template. We'll take just our centerpiece and we're going to put it over our image. Make sure the image is large enough that you're not cutting off any part of your template. Let's straighten it out a little. Select both together, right click and slice. We'll take this away. and we'll put back our edges. I've made it a little crooked. Put back our edges, select all together, align and align top. And that's one way to do it if you want to keep the edges in a solid color. So at this point, you're just going to make sure that your dimensions are still right. You want 8.75 by 4.25 for the large mug. We'll get rid of these pieces we don't need. 
So at this point, we'll select all, make sure all the size is correct, right click and flatten. You can click make it. Don't forget to mirror and you're all set to go to print. So let's cancel that one. Okay, so now you see how you can add the image in a couple of different ways. And if you want to keep your edges in the solid red or whatever color you want them to be. So here's another way you can do it. We'll take another template and another image. This template, I'm going to select all together, right click and weld because I want to cut it out of the image and I want the hard edges to be included in the image. So let's just make this image a little bigger. We'll bring our template over and make sure it fits. Just line it up, select both together, align and center horizontally, right click and slice. There we go, we'll take this away, take this one away, and you can see the difference. You can see that the image carries over into the edges, which is my preference. I like that, I think it's kind of cute. We'll just double check that our sizes are correct again. You won't need to flatten because the entire image with the edges is cut out of a print and cut photo. So as you can see, there's no need to flatten. Once again, you'll click make it, you'll turn on mirror, and don't forget to select your good print settings. As I'm editing this video, I realized that I wanted to mention to you that before you flatten or before you go to print and cut, you want to create a rectangle, unlock it, make it the size of your mug template. So in this case, 8.75 by 4.25 change the height 4.25 you want to make it white place it behind your template select both together align and center and then flatten the reason why you want to do this is so that design space will not cut out all the individual hearts it will just cut out a rectangle around your image, around your template. So I'm sorry I neglected to mention this, but I did catch it as I was editing my video. So you would do the same on this one, put a rectangle behind it, select all together, right click and flatten. So these are a few of the different ways that we can use these templates. As I mentioned, I will do a separate recording with pattern fill so you can see how that is done also. I hope this video will be helpful to you. I hope you'll share photos of your wonderful creations. I'd love to see them. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.